We'd like to take a second to thank SWAT Training Academy for allowing us to use their facility. If you have a business and would like a free shout out on Bright House Networks, contact Jason at MyRawDeal.com. Today we have Mike. Mike, nice to meet thanks you. for coming down, Pleasure. telling us your story. In doing so, you'll get this awesome Raw Deal t-shirt. Nice. Hopefully you'll wear that out around town. I sure will. So, tell me a little bit about yourself. What brings you here? I am 31 years old. Okay. From Hopog, Long Island. Very cool. Lived there pretty much all my life. I had gotten separated from a brother. So when I was about 22 years old, we had gotten in contact with each other. Okay. He was living in New Jersey and my family had moved down here to Florida. Well, Did my you try family. to get back into communication with him? Well, I, he kind of was out of sight, out of mind. Mm -hmm. But once we got talking again, we tried to just pick up from where we were. I mean, it was a little weird at first. Right. You know, because it's like, hey, I haven't seen you in 25 years you know, and I'm your brother, like, yeah. you know. So it was, uh, it was a little weird at first. And uh, about a year later, he had gotten married and decided to move down to South Jersey, okay. Cherry Hill. So I stayed up in Bayonne and I was bartending at this place called Casa Dante in Jersey City. Sure. What's, what's Casa Dante? It's an Italian restaurant. They probably have some of the best food. So if you're ever in the Jersey City area, I would I'll definitely say check it out. <laughs> And there was a guy working there by the name of Rob. Uh, he was a cook. And it would been about a year or so I had been working there. And you guys made good friends. Uh, pretty much, you know, a little bit here and there, here and there, sure. filling each other out. And we were talking one day and he said that he had broken up with his girlfriend and he was looking for a place to stay. Yeah. So I had an extra bedroom and plenty of space. So I thought about it. I was like, oh, do I want a roommate? Do I not want a roommate? I've heard you know, mixed, mixed reviews. Yeah, pros and cons. Yeah. Some say yes, some say no. And I was like, all right, this is pretty cool. Sure. I mean, you didn't think anything else. Nothing. He was a good guy. So we went, we went about our thing. Uh, it had been about six or seven months we'd been living together. Paid his rent on time. I mean, contributed to all the bills. Never really had an issue. A genuinely stand-up guy, That's in your opinion. Think. Sure. And he would even cook from time to time. So, you <laughs> know, nice. it would, it it would kind of help nice out. Nice perk. So it was right around Father's Day, and I made plans to come down to Florida for about two weeks. Okay. And I was a little hesitant at first, you know, going sure. down on vacation, but I said, you know what, let me go and relax and have a good time. So I like to travel light. I didn't pack that much stuff. And uh, before I had left, my brother had driven up from Cherry Hill and said, listen, you want me to take some of your stuff with me? Right. You know, like expensive thing, you know, DVD player, and you know, computer, you whatever. You didn't take the bait. You didn't go I for that. I was like, yeah, he's, he's a good guy, John. He pays his bills. I don't have any problems with him. He doesn't get messed up on drugs. Right. So. And at this point, you've known him for over a year. So, so. we built, you know, that relationship mm -hmm. up. So I was like, don't even worry about it. So you go on your trip and you're now in Florida. What part of Florida did you go uh, when I came down here to Orlando. Okay. My, my parents live in Vero Beach. Very nice. So it was nice, you know, to enjoy the sun and I'm having a good time in the busy world, eating out. And I'd given a call, you know, just to see how things were going. I had a, a year old cat named Patches That's and, cool. you know, I wanted to make sure the cat was all right. Sure. Yeah. I mean, you left you your roommate in charge. Yeah. So. so he didn't answer the phone. And at first I was like, all right, he's probably busy at work, whatever. I just wrote it off and went about my thing. And then a couple of days later, you know, I called him again. He didn't answer. I kept getting his voicemail, and I'm like, something's up. Did he never? He never called you back at all, or Not text once. you, or anything like that. Nothing. Okay. And you know, you figure everybody texts. That's weird. You know, just shoot me a text. Yeah. So I can't. I called up my landlady. Her name is Rose, and I said, Hey, Rose, how's everything? She's like, Oh, everything's great. How's Florida? I'm like, It's great. You know, the sun is shining. Blah blah blah. She's like, I'm like, Where's Rob? She's like, Rob left. I'm like, oh, did he go to work or something? She's like, no, he moved out. Yeah, when he says left, you don't think he left. Yeah, he's like, keep booking, you know, you're thinking he's gone so for a while. So she says, well, she said, she's like, you're going to be staying in Florida. And, you know, he got rid of most of your stuff. He got rid of most of your stuff? What does that mean? Uh, I, he had a garage sale. He went to the pawn shop. I don't know what he did with my stuff. So now all your stuff's missing? Well, you know, I, I said, what do you mean? And I asked her and she said, well, he had told me that you were going to stay in Florida. He was going to get rid of some of your things and send you the money. And you know, that would be it. You know, you paid your rent, so that's fine. And I was like, well, that's not, that's not possible because I have a return trip in like four days to come back up to New Jersey. And I told you I was coming back. She says, well, you know, he 
just said that you were leaving and he left and he's gone. So now your apartment's empty and there's no sign of empty TV, Rob. Uh, DVD player. What happened computer. to your cat? I don't know. So he took a DVD, a computer, a, At what else? My clothes. I mean, I was going to school at Lincoln Tech. I had a brand new toolbox set that was gone. My Timberlands, my, my everything. Suits, clothes, all gone. He's Dishware, microwave, coffee maker. My, my place was empty. She said the only thing that was up there was out. my bed frame. Wow. I got a hold of a lawyer and he said to me, to be honest with you, he's like, how much do you think you lost? I said, maybe like 10 grand worth of stuff, you yeah. know? He's like, well, to be honest with you, he's like, it's not really worth it for you to go after him because it wasn't a lot of stuff. Since it wasn't a lot more than like twenty, thirty thousand dollars $30,000, it's really considered not that much of a, de a big deal. So it's not a big enough crime for him to worry about. Pretty much. So what happened with your cat and all of this? Did you ever find him? No, I, I never found Patches. It's hard to tell. I mean, hopefully, you know, he made it through the whole deal yeah. and maybe found a new family or... We'd like to hope so. I would hope so, you know, because I do love animals. Yeah, but I mean, you, you left your roommate in charge for what you thought would be a quick couple weeks to go on a little vacation. And when Relax. you come back, your cat's gone. Your identity has been stolen. Your car is gone. All of your possessions have been taken. Your it's apartment's, like I went divorce. <laughs> your apartment's up for rent again. So you technically, you're not even on the lease anymore. And a lawyer, uh, you know, who you think might be able to help you, says he can't do anything for you. That's when I looked to my raw deal to say, you know what, hopefully they can help me out and maybe put me in a little bit better situation. And well, we get hope me some so. justice. Yeah, well, we hope you get your votes and, and hope thank you very much. You. Appreciate it. And now it's your turn. Go to MyRawDeal.com now and vote for which story you think got the rawest deal. Will it be story number one? Maybe it'll be story number two. It could even be story number three. The choice is yours. What are you waiting for? Go to your computers now and vote. MyRawDeal.com. Thanks for watching.